Hello, and welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip with Lawler Therapy Support Services. Today, we are looking at tasks, specifically to-dos within Gmail. All right, so those of you working in the Gmail environment, this one is for you. All right, so we're going to actually install an extension. It's a free extension, and you can do it in Chrome or Safari, um, probably Firefox, probably not Internet Explorer because it's the devil. But anyway, um, we're going to, instead of using Google Tasks, because they're kind of limited with what you can do, we're going to add the extension from Todoist. So add a second tab to your window here, and we're going to go todoist.com, to do, and then ist.com. And you're going to say, get started. It's free. You're going to click that and it's going to um, install the extension. So my extension is already installed on this browser. So you'll just go ahead and install the extension. Extension? Extension. And then you're going to sign up with your Google account. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to do that. All right. So I'm going to sign in with Google. I'm already signed in. Cool. I'm going to pick my theme. Cool. I'm all set. All right, so we'll just log out of that. All right, so now what that has done is it has installed Todoist within my browser here, okay? So I know it's here because up here I can see my little icon. Todoist for Gmail is right there. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is just sign into your Gmail. Boom, cool, right? So now down here in the corner, you can see I have Todoist. Now in the past, if you've used Google Tasks, it would sit down here too. Um, so we'll just blow that up a little bit and we can see that I already have some tasks that I've been messing around with in here. So I'm going to give you uh, a quick orientation of Todoist. All right. By pressing the three lines up here, we get the kind of the, the overview. All right. So we have inbox today, next seven days, and then a bunch of projects that is kind of, it's um, pre-populated these projects for us. Uh, it'll also allow us to have some filters assigned to me, assigned to others, priorities that we may have assigned. Labels is a premium feature, so we're not going to worry about that. So we'll go back to projects. So inside the projects, you can see uh, I have you know, a little one right here indicating that there's an uncompleted task inside of, of the work project. And we can add more, obviously, I don't know, kids or whatever you want to do. All right. So uh, the inbox is going to be any task that you have created and hasn't really had any sort of information added to it. So uh, it sort of has nowhere to live other than the inbox. Okay. Today is tasks that are specifically for today. All right. So they are due today. Next seven days, uh, I think you can probably figure what that's going to be. Tasks due in the next seven days. And then you can even drill down further. I only want to see work projects. So there's only one item in that particular example. All right. So creating a new one is really easy. You can either uh, just type the letter. If you're in this view here, you can either just type the letter Q and start a new task. Or you can hit the plus button. Okay. So we'll just say, I don't know walk dog today at uh, 12 p.m. Okay, so that's going to schedule that for us. Now we can add a project if we really wanted to just to show you how it works. And we'll say um, yeah, we want the kids to do that. And we could do a reminder if we wanted to. Oh, no, we can't. That's a premium feature. Forget that. And then we can add a priority. Well, the dog really has to pee, so we'll just make that a priority four. Oh, wait, no. That just seems kind of low, doesn't it? Priority one, because the dog has to pee. All right. Add task. All right, cool. So now if we go to uh, today, we can see that walk dog is in there for 12 o'clock. All right. Now, so we want our tasks to show up in the calendar. So if we go to over here, oh, you go away. Go over to calendar. Todoist is really nowhere to be seen. We have the crappy reminders. Um, it's really, it's really not cool. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to, actually, let's do this. We're going to sign out. And okay, so we're all out. Cool. So we'll go to Todoist again. 
And then we're going to go to the gear icon in the top right. We're going to go uh, settings. And on this left hand side, we go all the way down to integrations. And we want to connect our Google Calendar. Enjoy a two-way sync between your scheduled to-do tasks and your Google Calendar. That's what we want. Connect. All right, and we want to connect this to my uh, tech training account here. Oh, it remembered my password. How lovely. Todoist wants to manage my calendar. Yes, please. And now it freezes at this funky screen. So this happened to me before. Uh, I'm going to hit the refresh here. Nothing really going on. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to X that. I'm going to just go to todoist.com. And we're just going to double check on. So same thing, gear, settings, uh, integrations. And now, okay, now it wants to link to the Google Calendar. So you might have to go through those steps. You might have got right to this window here. Who knows? All right, so I want all of my Todoist tasks to be created in the Todoist calendar. Now I have other calendars associated with um, that Gmail account, but I'm just going to keep it in Todoist for now. You can do it how you like. Sync all projects or specific projects. So we could go down here and so we could have just whatever sync to the calendar and whatnot. But that seems a little silly to me. So I'm going to go all projects. Cool. Task created on the Google Calendar will go straight to the inbox. That makes sense to me. And then the default uh, duration for a task will be 60 minutes. You can change that when you create the task. Tasks without a due time should be synced as all day events. All right, so those are the ones that show up at the, at the top of the screen and then, then they don't make it into the actual scheduling of the calendar. All right, connect. Connecting, 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 it says. Cool, another white screen. All right, let's sign into this. And we have a Todoist calendar now. Pretty cool, eh? Now, I don't want two purple calendars. Okay, this reminders thing, you can just, you can go away. Um, what is that? I don't want you. Just uncheck. Whew. Okay. Todoist, you need to be another color. Let's make you um, a fancy orange pumpkin color. Hey, it's almost Halloween. We'll make it pumpkin. Cool. Okay, so um, going to Gmail here. Uh, going to Gmail, we have our to-do list here. Uh, also, quick aside, if you just went to todoist.com, you could also manage your tasks there as well. So you can manage them here, you can manage them inside your Google inbox, and now we can also handle them inside uh, your GCal. All right, so these are the ones that we were just messing with, walk a dog, uh, we have wash the car, we have please work in here. So let's go ahead a week here. So on Monday, I have a conference call. Conference call prep from uh, nine, from 10 o'clock until, I don't know, 10.30. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Conference call prep. And then I'm going to not put that in my actual training, tech training calendar. I'm going to put this in my Todoist calendar, all right? More options. What can we do with more options? Add a video call. Notifications. Busy. Ooh, you can do all that, all that usual Google stuff. Cancel. Save. All right. So we have a conference call, and uh, we have it in the Todoist calendar. So now we go over to Todoist, and we go coming up in the next five days. We have conference call prep right there. Okay, so now that we have Todoist all set up, let's look at some other ways we can use it. So I'm gonna to go to this email here about cats, because why not? And I'm gonna to add to Todoist by clicking that button right there. So uh, I have uh, funny pictures of, ta of cats, Google search, cool, uh, whatever, right? So I can add my task. So that it goes into my inbox because again, it doesn't have any sort of um, parameters around it. So it just gets collected into the inbox and that's it. Now, if I'm outside of uh, my Gmail, 
I have this funny cat picture. You see how conference call, I can't really click on it or do anything. But funny cat picture, I can click on that and it brings me right to the email in question. So it re it's relevant, to, uh, this email is relevant to that task. So they're kind of intertwined together, which is kind of cool. So um, I'm gonna go to my inbox there and I'm gonna say funny cat picture, cool, that's taken care of. And we can see here uh, in the inbox also there's this label gcal. So that means that this task came from something that we scheduled in uh, in Gmail, sorry, in G Calendar. So it, it got brought over to do us with that label. So we know that's where it came from. All right. So that is that. Now, let's say we want to do a finds because I, if I know you, you're going to have a ton of tasks in here really quick. So let's say we want to find something. I'm just going to type dog and boom, there's a task about dogs today. Oh, the kids still have to do it today at 12 o'clock. That's all right. Uh, we could also search completed tasks and uh, oh, only for premium users. All right, so tasks coming up, we can still search uh, on the on the free version. That's cool. Uh, to get out of here, we'll just go back to inbox. So if you wanted to share a project with somebody, in this example, I'm gonna use my work project. You can go up to the top here and share options. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna fire in an email address and I'm going to invite. So now that invite is pending. And what I'll do in super fast forward time is I will just go and make that active and then we'll come back to the video and uh, make that work. So here's how it would work, okay? You would just go report from and then you would hit the plus sign. Oh, here we go. Report from so-and-so. Okay, so that means you are waiting for this particular uh, task to be completed from somebody else. So report from, and then there's a little icon assigned to Bill. So maybe we just put report from Bill, and then you put that plus sign, and you can add, it, add the name there, right? So now, save that. So say we have uh, a bigger task. So we say uh, big task. All right, and this report is just part of the big task. So right beside it, uh, there's this little, these little dashy things. I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna just put it right underneath report from Bill, all right? So uh, now I have this big task report from Bill and then report from me, all right? And we'll just drag that into here, whoops, into big task. So now we know that these are subtasks of this big one, all right? And lastly, the last thing I wanna show you is um, using the hashtag or the pound sign or the number sign to assign a project. So we'll go add task by milk and then we'll put pound or hashtag, we'll go shopping, boom. So there you go, add task. All right, so that is going to be in the shopping thing. Now, that will just stay in the shopping list. So if you go to the store, you always just pull up a shopping list, you'll have it. Uh, or we can be more specific, as always, uh, on uh, Monday. So that'll show up on, well, that's today, next seven days, silly. Tomorrow, Monday, conference call, project with whoever, and then buy some milk. So you can really see this Todoist is uh, an app that you can use in a lot of different ways. And just this free version is pretty solid. So uh, you have it available on your computer, obviously, uh, but also you can get the free app on your Android or your Apple device. And all of this stuff will stay in sync. Pretty cool, eh? Anyway, this has been another Tuesday Tech Tip with Lawler Therapy Support Services. I hope that you enjoy your day and we'll see you next time.